Hello there, it's Sev from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to the handover video for the Swift Touch Control Panel, which looks like this when it's off. Pressing the Swift button will turn it on and we then get this display right here. This video guide is going to explain all the basic functions and how to use this control panel with your motorhome. So once you have the panel turned on, you can see at the top here we have some information. So at the dead center we have the time and date. Then over here we have uh, the internal and external temperatures and the humidity. And then over here we have the leisure and vehicle battery voltages, plus a symbol to show that we are plugged into mains electricity. These then touch buttons here allow us to play with certain things. But first of all, let's go to the settings. Here is where we can set the time and date, and that is the correct time there. And we can set the screen brightness, the time out of the screen. We can see some firmware and software numbers as well as pair Bluetooth devices to and turn on or off the key beat when you press buttons like that. So next up we have, first of all, let's go from the right where we can see our water tank level. So you can see here we have a quarter of a tank of fresh and then some waste. We can turn on or off our tank heaters here if they're fitted. We can enable or disable level alerts right here as well as frost alerts here. And then we have electric solenoids for the fresh and waste tank emptying. So for example, if I click here, empty waste, it's gonna say, do you want to empty the waste? And I click confirm, that is now going to open the waste. And as you can see, that's now showing that it is indeed empty. And to close again, I click stop draining waste, I click confirm, and it's gonna close that solenoid and we're all good. And it would be the same for the fresh tank. Well, now I know I have water on board, I'm going to turn on the water pump, which we do by pressing the pump button and the surround will illuminate like so. It's the same for the awning light. We just press and the surround will illuminate, showing that that is on. And again, the same for the lighting. Now I come into this menu and we can choose the dimmer circuits one or two. Now your, your vehicle may vary, but if I press there, you can see the dimmer in the back has come on and then I can dim that accordingly here as well to my preference and it's going to be the same for the front so in this vehicle this is the dinette lighting here and it's as simple as that so we can either press that on or off straight away with a press or we can dim it with the plus or minus buttons pressing the home returns back to the home screen the power option takes us to a place where we can see the leisure battery voltage and we can see it's on charge we can see the vehicle battery voltage here and any solar current being generated. At the bottom it says the selected battery which in this case is the leisure battery. If I press the right arrow we can then set, see the amount of current being drawn from the uh, main supply and we can set a limit here if we want. We can press the button to turn it on. No, nope, we don't. We actually just press these buttons here. There we go. We can choose five amps, six amps and so on and if we go all the way down we can then have that off. Now, returning back to this screen, if I change the selected battery, we're now on the vehicle battery. And as you can see, that's switched over. Please don't switch batteries. Oh, I didn't mean to touch that. In. Please don't switch batteries unless you know you're on mains power and your charger is working. Otherwise, you're going to drain the vehicle battery, which is very bad. But in this instance, we've changed over. And you can see it's showing now on the top as well uh, that we are charging the vehicle battery rather than the leisure battery. And that is really it. That's it for the Swift control panel. It's as simple and as easy to use as that. Now, you may have some other functions on here. Sometimes there can be some additional functionality. If there is, speak to your salesperson or handover professional who is demonstrating the vehicle and they will show you how those particular extra functions work. So hopefully that has been useful. And I'm Sev. I hope you found this video useful. And thank you very much for watching.